Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Virgo, this is going to be your Mars in Aries reading. Um, Mars actually entered Aries back on June 27th and it's going to stay there until January 1st, 2021. So this is an extraordinarily long time for Mars to stay in its home zodiac sign of Aries. Um, and partially that's due to it going retrograde on September 9th through November 13th. So we have to be aware that we might feel our efforts suddenly stall or we might run into conflict and frustrations around then, but we'll sort of cross that bridge when we get there. For now, let's focus on Mars and um, it being this powerful planet of passion and drive. And it is spending a long time in, in its home sign of Aries. Um, when this happens, we see a great deal of momentum build and our lives are, are injected with energy and purpose. Um, and now that Mercury has gone direct, we also can harness this energy and really burn brightly, pursue personal goals, ambitions, and our independence. This is also aggressive energy that is going to push us to go after who or what we want impulsively without thinking twice, okay? So that's something to really keep in mind and also, you know, when other people are, are acting out or reacting in that way, um, it's because of that. And so please don't take it personally, my dearest Virgos. All right, um, Virgos, I am a Virgo rising, so this is as much a reading for me as it is for you. I invite any placement you have in Virgo and cross watchers to this reading. If you were drawn to this title or to this reading, there's a message in here for you. So let's go ahead, let's jump into this reading by inviting spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear for my dearest fellow Virgos. Just before we get started, guys, too, I want to let you know that, look at that five of coins, Taurus energy, that um, I have all of the decks that I'm using listed in the description box in order of appearance in case you're interested. Five of coins, Taurus energy. I feel like somebody, a lot of people have probably been asking Virgos for help. All right, and um, a lot of people asking for handouts from my dearest Virgos, which we normally are very happy and willing to give, but I'm getting that somebody's been taking too much and it's starting to, or we have been over giving too much and it's starting to wear on us a little bit. All right, creating a little bit of exasperation as far as, you know, it could be love, it could be time, it could be energy, it could be actual resources right yeah and it's really sort of doing your head in because virgos i know that we're very service oriented we like to help all right all right seven of swords yeah look at that coming into this realization wow virgo somebody from your past or somebody you care about like family um Oh, yeah, Virgo, they've been taken too much. Or new boundaries need to be set here. Yeah, because Virgos, you know, we tend to be very overgiving, the sign of service. All right, and yeah, our stability is at stake, especially during these difficult times. So overall energy, you get the hanged man. This is Piscean energy. This is those of you willing to make a sacrifice. I think you probably have been willing to make a sacrifice for this person or for this relationship, for your family in the past is what I'm picking up on. Um, and now you're surrendering to a different journey. And I think this journey is much more in a very positive light, self-centered, taking care of Virgo. Um, the hanged man, this Piscean energy is also about a spiritual journey. Somebody who's willing to go out and see a different perspective. This full moon here really takes me back to this last full moon that we had in Capricorn um, and the downloads that we received with the, you know, the triple eclipses. Um, so a lot of crown chakra upgrades and purging and really sort of peeling back certain layers, Virgo, to see, you know, what's going on? Who are you? What do you want? What needs healing? And for some of you, it's a relationship 
okay? And you're realizing, hey, I set things up in a way, you know, that, um, that you know, maybe don't work for me anymore, okay? This could be family. It could be a parent I'm picking up. It could be on, fr it could be friends. So you guys are coming out as the Seven of Swords. This is uh, the Moon in Aquarius. Seven of Swords energy is Aries, uh, sorry, is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or any air sign really. And it's all about something coming to light. Again, this new perspective that probably happened as a result of or around this last full moon that we had in Capricorn, that someone or something was over, was taking too much of your time, your energy, your love, your money, your resources. And it may have been something that wasn't intentional on the other party's part, or maybe it was, but Virgo, you're wisening up to it. You're thinking about this 10 of coins, um, your own stability. Maybe you have a project that you're working towards and you realize maybe you partnered with somebody that wasn't in it to win it like you were. In, the, in your surroundings, you have the Six of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is releasing the past. So again, this could be somebody that you trusted. It could be soulmate energy. It doesn't all have to be material. Um, it could also be... Um, it also could be, um, you know, a friend or somebody that you consider family that you're realizing, hey, this doesn't work for me. If I want to achieve my goals, if I want to get to my abundance, my happiness, there's something here that I need to let go. Now, what's holding you back is this nine of swords. I feel like this is a lot of manipulation. I'm picking up on emotional manipulation, gaslighting, a lot of words. They might have been telling you a lot of lies and they might have also been sabotaging you. Now, I don't want to get, you know, you paranoid because a lot of a, a big part of me is really picking up on that this wasn't intentional but they were you know the way that they were going about business with you okay or if this was a love relationship they were really you know they were starting to make you feel bad which was anchoring you in the same negative energy or the same lower vibe vibration that they were and it was really starting to do your head in so it's going to have to take you know this is something that coming to this realization that this no longer works for you this no no longer matches your energy you may have gone through a little bit of a dark night of the soul really a lot of soul searching a lot of ups and downs because I do get that this was somebody or this is somebody very close to you or somebody that you're very emotionally invested in as well I'm really picking up on that it's money and love combo here look at that Virgo you are top and bottom I didn't even see this you have the ten of cups this is your happiness this is the shift in perspective you're starting to see what is going to make you happy so this is what's subconsciously affecting the situation, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And this is all about, you know, your happiness. You've been taking care of so many others or this person for so long, Virgo, that now look at this. Spirit is coming in strong. Ten of coins and the ten of cups. Your happiness, your abundance, love, health, money, you know, uh, spirituality, rest, all of that is taking precedence as it should, Virgo. And this is a huge blessing. This is the ending and the rebirth. Okay, so the ending of a cycle that no longer serves you. Look at this in your recent past. You have Judgment Day. This is this fire energy. This can be Pluto as well. So it could be Scorpio and you're flanked by Scorpio energy so some of you might have um, you might have Scorpio heavy in your chart you might be dealing with a Scorpio um, and and with that scorpionic energy I'm getting that this could also be a very sort of sexual intimate relationship for some of you as well that might have been you know crossing some of those cables that might have been confusing you the judgment card here is you've made a final judgment it's time for you to move forward and it's like with or without this person or this situation it could be leaving a job as well or it could be a family member um, but you know the time is now you're ready to move forward you're ready to think about your happiness your abundance Virgo and you're no longer willing to accept someone or something that takes from you okay that isn't an equal exchange and there you go you get the scorpionic energy major rebirth for you realizing that going through this sort of mini dark night of the soul is what I'm picking up on and really going over this situation that's been very difficult for you because it's very hard I know Virgos for us to sort of put ourselves first um yeah wow lovely energy I, really, I like it though and it hasn't been easy but there's the light at the end of the tunnel virgo and this is a major win for you major major win 
All right. And this is, you know, and a lot of it is focusing on the more spiritual aspect of your journey. You know, this pulling back, this hanged man card. Some of you guys, you know, again, this is about receiving those downloads and, you know, the purging of the, of the crown chakra and all of these upgrades to our psychic abilities and seeing things much more clearly with eclipse season, this full moon in Capricorn, you know, bringing an end to that cancer Capricorn, um, you know, things that we, things that were put in motion really six months ago with the eclipses during Capricorn season. So really love this energy, Bergs. All right, and then we get spiritual strength. Love it. This is the nine of wands. This is that wounded warrior. This is you pushing through. Yeah, this has been hard for you. You've you've picked up a few battle scars or wounds along the way in this situation. And, and making this decision was very hard, if not the hardest thing for you to do. Um, you know, in your recent, you know, history. Third eye chakra, trusting your intuition. I love the number of six. I'm picking up 96 might be an important number for you. Again, um, because we have number six, we have double sixes and we have double nines coming out here for you. Um, you know, sixes are about unconditional love. For some of you, this is a romance situation. For others, it has to do with family and again, somebody you're really loving, but you're standing in unconditional love by now focusing on you, which is a very selfless act, Virgo. And then you also get 99, the completion of a cycle, right? Beautiful energy, but I'm picking up some of you guys might be seeing 96. All right. And you get patience, temperance. There's a lot of healing here. This is something that, Virgo, you've mulled over. Um, and you've realized that, you know what, that you're, you know, that you're starting to realize that your prayers will be answered, but you have to take the step in the right direction. You've planted the seed. This is a prayer. This is something that you've asked for. I feel like some of you were dealing with somebody that maybe you were wishing, you know, they were wishing for divine intervention and this divine intervention is coming, but it's also a result, Virgo, of your understanding of where your priorities lie. And I'm, I'm picking up a lot of my Virgos. It's not wrong, okay? And if you've been programmed to believe that putting yourself first is wrong, okay? Um, and taking care of your needs. You know, you're very... In taking care of your needs, see, there's my Virgo self saying, well, you know, no, putting yourself first is a selfless act. You take care of so many people. And there's a lot of healing that comes as a result of stepping into this, you know, into this power. Look, we get double confirmation here of the hanged man energy. Again, there's um, your celestial team, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Everybody's pushing you in this direction, telling you, yes, we can do this. This is sacrifice. This is surrender to the divine. There's a plan. And this plan for you, Virgo, isn't to always constantly take care of others. We get this Venusian energy, which comes through with my number six about love, about balance. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but the scales are being balanced. And Virgo, you've been, you've been putting out so much that it is now time for you to receive. All right, let's go ahead and see what additional messages come through for our Virgos here. I'm using the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle. All right, you get Jupiter, number 18. One and eight breaks down to a nine, so we've got three nines on the table. Lovely, completion of a cycle, Virgo. Something's coming to an end. And this, I'm really picking up this hanged man energy being that realization. I love the, I love the image of the rainbow because that also evokes, um, you know, a close tie with this patience card, which is um, based on the archetype of Iris, a messenger to the gods. Again, your prayers are being answered, Virgo. All right, and then you get Scorpio. Look at that, and I told you, you are flanked by Scorpio energy, Six of Cups as well. So you've got three cards of Scorpio, and you've also got the Sun card burning brightly there. So let's take a look at Jupiter, number 18. Um, you might want to see how this is affecting your individual chart. Jupiter, I believe, right now is retrograde, but you can check me on that. Um, Jupiter is associated with the Roman god, Jupiter, ruled ruler of heaven and earth. Again, I really pick up on that heaven and earth. Look at that with the patience card and with the sacrifice card here. She's in the earth. She's coming out of the water. Her prayers are being answered. 
okay? Um, thought of as fair and just protector. Jupiter is often thought of as the planet of luck and expansion. The desire to understand the bigger picture, to prosper, and to experience joy are a big part of Jupiter's influence. Optimism, faith, and spirituality play roles in these issues. Yeah, and we definitely see that spirituality coming through. Some of you guys are getting a new lease on life, whether this is through a relationship, um, through a job, through maybe some of you guys are receiving a chunk of money. And, you know, it's saying, you know, you do what you need to do. All right, you deserve to enjoy life. You deserve to prosper. And there was someone or something that was really holding you back. Now, all this Scorpio energy coming through, I'm really picking up on this being a very sexually charged relationship for those of you that um, that feel that this is um, that this is resonating with you as a as a love relationship. So Scorpio is a, a fixed water sign, and it's all about I create. So the mysterious energy of water takes on the fixed quality of in, of intensity to suggest a determined quest to unearth the truth. And do we not see that with that seven of swords energy? That's you, you guys, and also the, all the spiritual work, you're really seeing things the way they should be, okay? Taking off those rose-colored glasses, also cutting through any deception that might be might have been present in this situation. Um, the energy of Scorpio is alluring and powerful and can be dangerous when pursued for its own sake rather than as a means to a healthy and balanced end. Avoid using your powers for evil, <laughs> right? But I'm not picking up on that. I'm really sort of picking up on more of that intimate, more of that rebirth, that cyclical energy coming through here. Ending a cycle, beginning a new one, death and rebirth for my Virgos. I love it. Some of you guys are like, you're coming out of a haze and you're realizing the way that you've, the relationships you've been in or the job you've been in or the life you've been leading is just too small for you. Um, and, and you've been, and you've been getting the short end of the stick, right? I don't know if that's not really the word is short, right? It's S H I T, but anyway, and you're like, you know, I'm not, I'm not up for this. Not now. And this is that Mars energy, giving you that strength and the courage to push, push those boundaries, you know, which maybe for, for another sign, you know, might seem quite easy, but for Virgo being selfless and a, and a sign of service, it's, it's hard. It's a, it's a hard, it's a hard, hard won victory here, Virgo. Okay. And then we get Hecate. I love it. Look at that. Hecate is all about the underworld. Some of you guys might have your moon in Scorpio. Um, some of you guys, wow, look at this illumination, illuminating truths. Hecate is also willing to take you on this journey. Some of you guys have been through a dark night of the soul. Hecate there is guiding you, making sure you're going to get out the other side. Um, Hecate is one of my very personal favorite guides and, um, and, uh, energies to work with so examine your darker as aspects so virgo you guys have that nine of swords energy the death all the scorpio energy is really you've been doing the shadow work um, your path you are being shown the way forward your path is illuminated and there's no need to feel lost or indecisive something has been lost to you will be found and i think that's a part of yourself virgo really i do the Greek goddess Hecate is possibly one of the most mysterious of all the Greek goddesses and one of the most loved and feared. Said to be the daughter of Titans, Perseus, Destruction, and Asteria, Stars, Hecate is a goddess of witches, night, and illumination. Perhaps the most famous of stories featuring Hecate is that of Persephone's abduction. Again, Hades, Persephone, the underworld. I love it. After Hades whisked Persephone away to the underworld, her mother, Demeter, went looking for her, but alas, she could not find her. In her grief, Demeter stopped paying attention to the fertility of the earth, causing a deathly winter. Hecate took her twin flaming torches and descended into the underworld. Some of you guys have found your twin flame. You're leaving a relationship because you have found your twin. Okay, there's no coincidence that it's twin flaming torches. You've found or somebody that's much more aligned to you than either the person you're with or the people that you've been with. That's just for one or two of you. All right, and she descended into the underworld in search of Persephone. Persephone had eaten while in the underworld, so she had to spend six months of the year with Hades, with Hecate as her companion, and six months above ground with Demeter. Hecate and her torchlight guided Persephone in her underworld travels. 
Hecate is a goddess of the dark and underworld and, paradoxically, is a torchbearer who brings the light to this same darkness. Illuminating the darkest pathways, this magnetic goddess in invites you to travel the shadows with her, but only under her wise guidance. Hecate is often depicted standing at the crossroads with the three-headed dog, past, present, future. So she is the ideal goddess to call upon if you feel lost. You don't know which direction to turn or you are working to improve yourself. An increasing number of modern people honor Hecate and those who wish to learn more about the witchcraft tradition should ask her for assistance in their learning. Yes, Virgo, powerful messages. I love you so much. I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for all your love and support and I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.